Hello guys, welcome back to the crew calling all units. The rough CTR3 in the rift spec. Um, nothing special about it, but it is sort of a symbolical car for me personally. As I will uh, tell you in a second. It has a level of 1492. It is uh, the drift spec. So, symbolic for two reasons. Reason number one, let's do this pit skill test and have a look what happens. There we go, that is finished. And what do we get? A performance part, a suspension part of all parts, level 60, and it puts this car at 1497. Nothing special about it, for some, for me it's kind of special, because this just made me a member of the 1497 club. You don't get an achievement of it, or some court, or an award, or whatever. But, what is the 1497 club? That's pretty simple. Let's have a look in headquarters. You will immediately get the idea and see what's going on. It was the last part that I could win in this game. As you will see here. Page number one. The Abort 500 Alfa Romeo 4C, Alfa Romeo 8C Competizione, the Aston Martin Vantage, the Aston Martin Vantage, and the Aston Martin Zagato. They are all specs uh, are in my garage, and they are all at 1497. Page number two. The Bentley, a couple of BMW bikes, and uh, the BMW M4 and M5, and the X6 M with the different specs, all in my collection, and all at 1497. You already get the idea, I think. BMW Z4, BMW Z4 Street Edition, the Buggy, the Cadillac Escalade, Cadillac Eldorado, Chevrolet Camaro 2010, all the different specs, and all at 1497 as well. Page number 4, 2014 Chevrolet Corvette, the 1969 Chevrolet Camaro, the Corvette C2 and C3, and the Corvette ZR1 as well as the Chevrolet Impala Sport Sedan. Also there, all specs and all at 1497, just like the Chevrolet Silverado, the Chrysler 300 SRT8, the 1969 Dodge Charger, the Dodge Ram, the normal spec and the Street Edition, and the 2010 Dodge Viper, which is um, a Ubisoft download car. You can download it for 100 Uplay points or something like that. They were all at 1497, just like this Dodge Challenger 2012 is, as is a uh, four-day door um, Dodge Charger, the SRT Viper, and a couple of Ducati bikes, the Diavel, the Monster, and the Panigale, and also the Hipper Motor. Then we go to Ferrari, the 458, the F12 Berlinetta, the Ferrari F40, La Ferrari, and the 2013 Ford Shelby GT500. Also here at 1497 all of them. 2015 Ford Mustang, 2015 uh, Mustang uh, Street Edition, the Ford Raptor, the Ford Focus, the Ford GT 2005 and the Ford Mustang 2011. Also here all the specs and all at 1497. At page number 9 we find the hot rods which are uh, the car wrecks you can find, the Hummer uh, H1, the Indian Chief Dark Horse, the Indian Scout, the Jeep Wrangler and the 1984 Kawasaki Ninja. Also this all, all at uh, 1497 and all the different specs are in the garage as you could see. Page number 10, the Kawasaki uh, motocross bike, the KX450, 
de Kawasaki Ninja H2 en de Kawasaki Z1000, Koenigsegg Hagera en twee van de KTM bikes, de 1190 en de 1290 Super Duke. Also, these are all at 4097, just like the KTM 450 motor cross bike. Lamborghinis, Aventador, the Gallardo, the Hurricane, the Miura, and the Murcielago. All specs available in the garage and at 4097. Page 12, the Lotus Exige, the Lotus Evora, the Maseratis, uh, Gran Turismo and MC12, and the Mazda MX5 and RX7. All specs available in the garage and all at 4097. Page number 13, which are sort of the Mercedes's, the 300 SLR, the C63 Black Series, the SL63, the SLR McLaren 722, and the SLS AMG, and also uh, the normal Mini Cooper. Also here at uh, 1497 with all the specs in the garage. Page number 14. Uh, the same Mini Cooper, but this time in Street Edition, and then the Counterman. McLaren 12C, McLaren F1, Mercedes AMG GT, and the 2013 Nissan 370Z, which is uh, one of the starter cars. All those at 1497, all specs in the garage. Page 15, the Nissan Fair Lady, the Nissan GTR R35, the Nissan Skyline GTR, the R34, the Pagani Huayra, the Pagani Zonda F, and the Ruff RT35. Page number 16, the Ruff 3400K and the Ruff CTR3. That's why I was driving that car. It is symbolic as well for another reason. I'm missing one here. The Ruff CTR3 Xfinity Edition. At one point it was a community challenge, but at that point I was not in the game as a competitive player. I only bought the game after the wild run with the summit and all. And uh, just like uh, the others there, uh, the Grand Cherokee and so, they were all at 1497. Just like the Subaru BRZ, the TVR Cigaris, the Volkswagen Golf and the Volkswagen Touareg. Extreme specs, same story, uh, you have Drift, Monster and Drag specs. For the Abarth, the BMW M5, the Z4 and so on, they are all at 1497. Although uh, the Drag cars are... F or they were faster at 1299, but now with the latest patch, I'm not so sure anymore, but... I have put them all at 1497, just uh, to show here that I have all the cards at 1497. Just as uh, Drift Monster and Drag Specs for the uh, Charger, the Ram, the Challenger, the Viper, the Ferrari 458 and the Ford Mustang 2015, the Raptor Monster Spec Focus, Drift and Drag, the Ford GT, the Drift Spec, the Mustang uh, is a starter car, the 2011 version, so it has the three specs available, Hummer H1 and the Koenigsegg Agera, then we have a couple of Lamborghinis, Drift Specs, the Aventador, the Murcielago, Mazda RX-7, McLaren 12C, the Nissan 370Z and the Skyline. Also uh, three specs available. All of these cars also at 1497 as you can see. Page number 5 for the extremes. The Ruff RT and the Ruff CTR3 and the Shelby GT500, Grand Cherokee Monster Spec and a Drift Spec for the Subaru BRZ. Police cars, Mercedes-Benz, the GLC 250, the street in dirt we have the Wrangler and the Ruff, performance we have the BMW bike, Koenigsegg Agera, Lamborghini Aventador, Nissan GTR, Pagani Huayra, then we move to the rate specs, the Raptor and the Hummer, circuit specs, Ferrari 458, 4 GT, and the Gallardo and the uh, McLaren 12C, and a monster spec which is the Abarth 500. Every single car in this game, 385 different specs, all at 1497, which sort of makes you a member of the 1497 club. But I am missing this damn thing, the rough Xfinity edition. Now, um, the story missions, also here, all platinum medals, uh, also, um, in the offenses, the uh, police stories, also there I have a platinum medal in all of these things. Uh, the skills, same story, all platinum medal in every single skill in this game. Exploration, I found all the car wrecks, all the data stations and every single of the landmarks is visited. So I can guess I'm sort of completed this game by I mean. Uh, but still, 
2500 hours played and I'm missing this one single thing. The Xfinity Speed Challenge, at one point it was a community challenge uh, as I mentioned before and yeah, I wasn't in the game so I couldn't get my hands on it. So let's have a look how it looks. It's nothing special in a way, but yeah, it's kind of special because it's that one car missing in my collection and that's kind of bothering me. So it's also a request to the devs this video, uh, make it happen that we can get our hands on this car. Either by a gift would be nice, but yeah, who am I to be the only one to receive this gift? So um, maybe as a summit reward or as a new community challenge where we can win it, something like that. It's basically uh, a normal CTR3 in uh, performance spec. It comes with a full stock and a performance spec, so it's two specs that I am missing. But of course, uh, like always, you only need the performance spec, uh, the uh, the full stock, and then you can buy the performance spec. That would be nice. And then we could drive this red car with the Xfinity sticker on it, or the white car. I don't know um, if they were available. I've seen some pictures of people who have this car who won it at the time when the community challenge was about. And most of them uh, had this red car with the white Xfinity on it. Other than that I'm assuming that just like the street editions um, it has the same performance as the normal rough CTR3. But yet yeah, the collection feel kind of incomplete if you do not have this car uh, in my opinion. See now I have all the cars and then this one car is missing that's kind of annoying. So if you're watching devs, think about it, Summit Reward, the new uh, Summit update, um, well, it's all the old tracks but then we drive it with new cars now, uh, in comparison to the previous qualifiers last year. But all these new players, they get uh, the cars from the crate and we had to pay for all that. We had to grind for the bugs, grind for the parts, to get it all together, it was quite some work and sort of uh, as an achievement award it would be nice to be able to get our hands on the rough Xfinity edition. That's sort of my request to the devs. Like I said a gift would be nice but I would be okay with a summit reward then I'll definitely be able to get it since uh, I'm part of the RCT team and we work together with the crew team and we very often are in the top five of the summits just as we are now in the current qualifier. So we would be able, uh, if we could need a platinum medal or something, we would be able to get it. Or a community challenge where usually you need to be uh, in the top 50 or top 100 or something. Which I will probably not be, seeing it, uh, it's a wet track here now, but... If a community challenge would be about, I will be make sure that I can get it. By winning it with a fast time. Parking a bit all over the place here. What is this car? 851 level it comes with. It sort of comes along with it. It's one of the story missions, I think. Although it has doesn't have a... Um, in the story itself, it doesn't have a specific... storyline. It just... Um, they tell you that there are a few new missions available and this one is one of them. You can upgrade your car a bit with it if you go through the story but uh, other than that it's not really involving the, uh, the the real story. I think I've done this thing uh, probably once in uh on a dry road, but I don't know, I, uh, maybe it's always on a wet road, I have no idea. I haven't really bothered about this since the community challenge wasn't running anymore. Pretty sure I did a maybe a little bit faster time earlier, but uh, let's see. 20,119 points, I had 20,170, but even that. 151st, that's definitely not good enough to win it. But if it was a community challenge, I would definitely be able um, to make the top 100 or top 
top 50, whatever is required. To win this thing, the red ref with the white Xfinity sticker. That's sort of the idea behind it. Not only did I join the 1497 club in this video, but I also want to get my hands on this car, somehow. If they could make it happen... We will see, uh, but I'm, I'm guessing that it's not in the uh, rewards for the summit. Because now uh, with the new setup, it uh, you can win a car that is not in your garage yet. But I kind of wonder and doubt that um, at the same time that it probably won't be in there. If it is so, that would be great, but I kind of doubt it. So it's sort of a request as well to the community depths or whatever uh, to make it happen that we can get our hands on this one. In the rough Xfinity edition that is. I will see you guys in the next one and bye for now.